Hello and welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Today we are going to take a look at some artwork for a two color print job that we're going to do for Catspit Productions. Do some freebie shirts here. And today we're going to show you how to set this up as a full color composite on one layer and then just use host separations in Illustrator to uh, separate the film positives. Okay, so, um, let's see. First of all, <laughs> let me just say that my monitor is set a little funny, and after a recent update, I've been having trouble setting the monitor properly, so it's actually stretched a little wide, the design. So, um, that's not exactly the way it's going to print. It's actually not as spread out from side to side. And so if there's any distortion you notice, that's what that is. It's just the monitor. But everything will print out just fine. All right, so first of all, you know that in the past we've looked at artwork and we've talked about working in layers, in your layers window, and having all these different layers and separating colors out onto layers and all this jazz. But what happens when you're working with clip art? Like, for instance, this is a piece of clip art and I took away a bunch of stuff and here it is this is the way it came it's on one layer and it has all these subgroupings and things but it's all on one layer even my registration marks are on one layer okay and what we're going to do is we're gonna send this to RIP software and the RIP software is going to separate it out all properly now there's a couple of things that you need to know in order to make that happen. First of all, you know that the registration marks, basically these are capital T's, and then down here they're inverted capital T's. And I just make the T's, you know, we did a video on this, and you grab them all, and in order to make them, you know, show up to Illustrator as a, as a um, registration mark, we click the registration swatch, right? You know that because you've watched all of my videos, right? Haven't you? Yes, you have. So you know how to do the use the T as a registration mark and then use the registration swatch to tell Illustrator that those particular objects are registration marks and that Illustrator should print them out on all of the separations. Okay, so that's the first thing you need to do. Secondly, when you're working in a color composite like this, where you see we have green and brown, okay, the deal is that in order for the RIP software to work properly and separate these out, these have to be spot colors. Okay, um, if they're not spot colors, meaning that they're just like RGB colors or CMYK colors, and it's not an actual, like, Pantone spot or or a spot color, then Illustrator or whatever, your RIP software and everything, the host separations will actually try to separate that color into four plates, you know, into, into CMYK or whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to recognize it as a spot color. Okay, so the way you know that you have a spot color is, first of all, this is the layers window, you know that, and we have these other tabs in here, and there's the swatch tab, which we just looked at with the registration swatch. So, in here, all of these swatches that you see are not spot colors, except for these two. And the way you can tell is the little triangle with the dot in the corner. That represents spot colors. Okay, and most good clip art, decent clip art that you buy for screen printing will be set up already in spot colors. Now, what happens if you want to make something yourself from scratch and it's not a spot color? Say it's just something like some, some red. Okay, now there's probably a million different ways to do this and... Um, I remember being able to do this a little bit differently in a different version of Illustrator, but basically what we have to do is we need to bring this color into the, in, you know, open it up in the swatch properties and basically kind of 
tell Illustrator, make this a spot color. Okay, so when you're creating your artwork from scratch and you create all your objects, um, now I don't know how to explain this because I don't even know what this tab is. This, you know, I don't know where this will be for you exactly in your Illustrator or Corel or whatever you're using, but this little thing over here um, is the swatches, but if you hold down, as you can see, it's popping up. If you hold down the shift key when you press this, it brings up this um, swatch options or something, I think it's called. Uh, and I used to be able to pull this up on top over here or something. I don't know. It's, li it's weird. But basically, I'm going to take... I open this up. All right, let me review that again. You create the object. You have the object here. It's selected. You're going to go up to this little swatch shortcut tab. You're going to hold shift, press it down, and it's going to open this up. Now, we're going to go right over to this little red thing here, and we're going to grab it and pull it over and put it into the swatch chart or tablet or whatever this is, the swatch window, right? Now, this swatch here, if we double-click it, Okay, did you see that? I go right over the swatch that I just dragged in there, double-click it, and voila. Here it is here. It says process color. Now I'm just going to say Illustrator, make that a spot color. And now Illustrator is going to recognize this as a spot color. And you can rename it too. This is That's the name. The name that you see popping up there is just left over from the other one. I could just say red spot one. Okay, now it should hover that, see? Okay, so that's how you create your spot colors when you're working from scratch and you just, you know, you're just creating colors and choosing colors and messing around and playing, you know, doing all this stuff like this, see? So now if I wanted this to be a spot color, shift, down, grab this, yank it over here, double click, whoops, double click, spot color. Okay. All right, and then if you want to get rid of this, you select it and you can delete swatches as well. Okay? So, that's how we get the spot colors. Now, with that being said and done, we have we marked our registration marks with the registration swatch. We have spot colors. The brown is already a spot color. Everything is all spot. Okay? So, now, what we're going to do is we're going to send this to Rip. And you might remember this from the Ben Franklin video that we did. If you remember that, right, because you watch all of my videos, right? So, you might remember the Ben Franklin video. And we're just going to say print. But what we have to do is choose the right printer. And the way you can tell if you have the right printer, okay, you see this? Epson Photo Stylus 1400. Well, it also has Epson Photo Stylus 1400. You know. Okay, it's like it's. There's actually two selections for the same printer. One is for the RIP software, and the other one is to use the printer direct. And to, the way you tell which one that you have selected is go to output, and you can see that the host separations is able to drop down. If you choose the wrong one. <laughs> okay, let me choose the wrong one. Let's say. Oh, it's still showing separations. But normally, uh, that's weird. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on, I'm sorry. I was I was doing the wrong thing. Let's do that again. Control print. Okay, so I was doing this thing here. The um the profile or something. I'm sorry. So here it is here. The printer. Choose the printer. So the way you can tell whether you have the right printer or not is is that. If this composite mode isn't available to drop down, then you, you're not you don't have the right printer with the RIP software chosen. See that? So now it goes up. Now I'm going to say separations host based and you can see that these 
down here now open up and all the process is off none of it's going to print except the two spot colors now you're going to see that it has frequency and angle and dot and blah 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 but don't worry about that because it's a spot color okay so it's going to understand that the, these are spot colors now one more thing i want to mention before we send this to rip software so you can see what it looks like there split up um, sometimes RIP software uh, uh, has problems printing uh, landscape like this and it can be weird it, sometimes it's a problem sometimes it's not it's just strange but if you have your document set up like this and you send it to RIP and that it, en it ends up printing the artwork totally wrong in the wrong place in the wrong orientation then what you actually just need to do is set it up like this okay so you just create another document for to print your film and you make it you know portrait and you put the thing on there portrait like this and when you send it to rip from this it's going to print properly okay so I don't, I don't think it matters which one we send to rip let's try this one let's just see what happens Okay, so here it is here. We go to the output to check. Host space separations. Yes, very good. That means host space means that Illustrator is going to do the separations. Okay, Pantone colors. Excellent. We're going to set this up here. Okay, and as the RIP software opens... We're going to send it to rep. Okay, and there it is. Basically, if the preview will come up, hang on a second, there you go. And you can see the two plates. Okay. So that's it. It's pretty easy. It's not really that difficult. And then we would just go ahead and tell the RIP software to print this job. And then we'll get our our inkjet film positives from that okay so um, that makes sense right there it is two pages with the two pieces of film all right that's it so um, I think that's it for today if you have any questions leave them in the comments below thanks a lot for watching make sure you rate thumbs up and of course please subscribe thanks for watching we'll see you next time